हे व्हाट्सअप एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द फ्लटर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू इनेबल द डेस्कटॉप स्पोर्ट फॉर आवर फ्लटर प्रोजेक्ट्स बाय द वे वेन एवर वी क्रिएट ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट आवर प्रोजेक्ट कैन रन ऑन एंड्रॉयड एंड आई ओ एस एंड वेब बाई डिफॉल्ट बट टू रन आवर प्रोजेक्ट ऑन विंडोज लिनिक्स एंड मैक ओ एस वी नीड टू डू सम एक्स्ट्रा सेप्स Uh, since our project will be supported on five platforms, so that's why I need. I am going to enable the Windows port in this video, and in the, in another video, I will be showing you how to enable the Mac OS port. So, first of all, I would also like to tell you that I am uh, right now using the latest version of Flutter. Uh, currently, it is two point zero point four at the time of recording. So, uh, let me open the command prompt and show you the latest version, and also. let me run another command to enable the uh, desktop support for uh, especially the windows support for flutter so i will click on the windows button from my keyboard and type in terminal and i see, i can see this uh, command prompt here and here i can type in command flutter double dash version this command will tell me the latest version so right now i want to show you that uh, i am using the latest version of flutter secondly uh to enable the windows support for our uh development what we can do is that we can write a special command that will enable the windows support so i will type flutter config double dash enable dash windows dash desktop don't worry you don't need to remember this command by heart uh, i will just copy paste this command in the description as well you can copy it from there after typing this command you will just need to hit enter and you can see that this is saying setting value to true and you may need to restart any open editors for them to read new settings okay first of all we need to run this command and secondly what we we need we need to do is that we need to install another software as well so we need to install the visual studio uh, ide as well for for enabling the windows a support for our flutter project now if we run the flutter doctor command now you will be uh, you will see an error that the, that says that you need to install the visual studio develop for windows uh, is missing or uh, this is saying that visual studio is not installed by the way uh, you don't have to confuse here between the visual studio code and visual studio visual studio code is just an editor and visual studio is a complete full fledged ide just like how the android studio is visual studio is uh, used for uh, desktop software development for windows and uh, by the way flutter will be using c++ uh, with the visual studio code to develop the windows uh, based applications so let's jump into the browser and download the visual studio for our you know fixing this problem okay right now i am on the downloads page of for the visual studio and here you can see that the latest version is visual studio 2019 and here uh, the visual studio 19 has 2019 has three uh, versions or variants you can say first of all is the community variant and the second is the professional and enterprise we don't need uh, these two variants because we want to use the free version uh, this is basically used for the students and individual uh, developers uh, and open source contributors this is more towards the professional company uh, uh, you know company use cases so i will click on free download button from here and i will just download this right now it is saying uh, thank you for downloading visual studio your do your download will start shortly okay i am waiting now we can just press on save button and this will download the exe file and we need to click on the exe file to run it okay now if i click yes this will go ahead and uh, start the installation process okay now here it is showing some uh, message before you get started we need to set up few things so that you can configure your installation okay let's do it so now visual studio code is downloading some files in the background and it will install these so let's wait for it okay now 
it has installed some of the you know components now here it is the uh, now here it is asking us to choose the uh, environments or tools that we need to use in order to develop the uh, uh, desktop application so you need to ignore everything here and choose this option that is the develop uh, desktop development with c++ okay you you can ignore everything here and just choose this option and uh, now you need to click on install here by the way it will take some 7.66 gb uh, of your space so you need to note down this as well so just click on install and now it will go ahead and download all the data that is required to install the visual studio in order to continue so i will wait here and once it is downloaded now uh, then we will resume the tutorial Well, now you can see that uh, the installation process has been completed, but right now it is saying that you, we need to restart our system. So let me restart the system and uh, continue the process after this. Okay, now I have just uh, rebooted the system. Now let's open the command prompt and try to run the Flutter Doctor again. So I will type in command prompt and here I can type the flutter doctor command again and see if this uh, you know error goes away uh, so what is the command flutter doctor and you can see that now uh, we don't we are not receiving that particular error that we were receiving for the video studio now th these are the steps that we needed to take in order to enable the uh, windows port for our you know system but now i am going to enable the uh, mac os port in the next video so stay with me and let's move to the next video